and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm Kathleen Walter, Secretary of State John Kerry, speaking out Friday afternoon and clarifying the Obama administration's position on Syria. This after the administration came under fire in recent days. Amidst questions, the president was on the verge of pursuing a go-it-alone approach in Syria after British lawmakers rejected military action. U.S. members of Congress have pressured the administration to get their authorization before any military strike. The president has been clear. Any action that he might decide to take will be limited and tailored response to ensure that a despot's brutal and flagrant use of chemical weapons is held accountable. And ultimately, ultimately, we are committed, we remain committed, we believe it's the primary objective is to have a diplomatic process that can resolve this through negotiation. Secretary Kerry's press conference came four days after he publicly called the Syrian regime's alleged use of chemical weapons an obscenity and gave what experts said amounted to a declaration that the United States will use force of some kind in retaliation. The NFL has reached an agreement with thousands of its former players to settle lawsuits related to concussions. The $765 million deal will fund health screenings and medical compensation for players, as well as provide money for research. Individuals would be capped at $5 million for players with Alzheimer's disease and lesser amounts for other forms of dementia. I really never expected um, to live to see the day um, that we would come to an agreement. The most important thing for the younger players is that if they become sick 20, 30 years from now, this fund will be there to take care of them and their families. The proposed settlement is not an admission of wrongdoing by the NFL, which said in a statement that the agreement lets the NFL help those who need it most and make the game safer for current and future players. Seamus Heaney, one of the world's greatest writers of the 20th century, has died. The Irish poet was a recipient of the 1995 Nobel Prize in Literature and was considered Ireland's greatest poet since William Butler Yeats. It was in Heaney's work that he gave voice to Ireland's soul and political turmoil. He died at a Dublin hospital after a brief illness. Seamus Heaney was 74. Coming up in a scene right out of a movie, an earthquake in China caught on tape. The short but harrowing ordeal coming up. Plus a stern message to President Obama from former presidential advisor and GOP presidential candidate Pat Buchanan on Syria. And a Newsmax exclusive interview next. We're in the midst of an obesity epidemic and I'm not surprised. The statistics on obesity mirror an increasing trend of eating out or ordering in. In fact, some people dine out every night, but eating in restaurants is one of the biggest enemies of your heart. When you're in a restaurant, you don't really know what you're getting, and the calorie counts of many restaurant dishes are astronomical. In fact, some single dishes contain more calories than we should eat in an entire day. Eating in fast food restaurants is even worse. A diet of hamburgers, french fries, and shakes constitutes a fast lane to the emergency room. If you really want to help your heart, get in the habit of cooking simple meals at home. Here are three easy tips that will make your food taste better than even the best restaurant. Choose the best fruit in season. Your local farmer's market is a great place to start. It will probably still cost less than that pie you were thinking of buying. Get in the habit of using fresh herbs. You can use them in egg white omelets or dust them on the fish you grill or bake. And for a light dessert, choose a square or two of dark chocolate that, that you and your spouse can enjoy. There are lots of ways to make your heart healthy, but there are also lots of ways to damage it. That's why I wrote Fix It, Dr. Crandall's 90-day program. In it, I'll tell you how to kickstart your metabolism every day, how to pick the best diet for you, how to stop hunger from sabotaging your diet, the seven superfoods for your heart. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thanks for watching this Heart Health Minute. 
And welcome back. A 5.1 magnitude earthquake jolted Urumqi in northwest China Friday. People were rushing out of buildings when they felt the earthquake. And you can see structures and the ground even trembling. No injuries were reported. And in an exclusive interview with Newsmax TV, political commentator and former presidential advisor Pat Buchanan gives a stern warning to President Obama. He says the president needs to back off from his threat to attack Syria unilaterally. Striking a country against whom we had not declared war and had not attacked us, that is de facto an impeachable act. Mr. Buchanan says the president must consult Congress for authorization and urged Speaker Boehner to call the House back from its summer recess on Monday. And to see more of our exclusive interviews and content, stay with Newsmax.com. This has been your Newsmax Now update for August 30th. I'm Kathleen Walter. Now here's the Steve Malzberg Show in New York.